Hello, Zoe Trooper, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm showing you guys how to install a postal code map into your guys' 5M server for free. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is click the first link down in the description below. That will bring you guys right here to the postal code map and mini map, new and improved, which was quite a while ago, but it still works and it is probably one of the best out there. A lot of 5M servers use this and it is totally free. But all you guys are going to want to do is head down here until you find the download link. Click download by clicking here. It's going to bring you to a Dropbox page. Totally safe. I always check out the mods before I do videos on them. And I also have this in my own 5M server. Once you guys have downloaded it, if it does tell you to log in like it did for me just there, all you guys got to do is go back out and download it again and it will automatically download it out. You guys having to log in. Once you guys have done that, if you open up the server resource folder and you go inside of the map, this is basically going to be everything to do with the map. You don't actually have to edit any of it if you don't want to. There is pretty much no editing you guys need to do. All you got to do is put it into your resources folder. So to do that, open up your file explorer and navigate to your guys' 5M server. Now, if you did it the exact same way as me, it's likely going to be on your C drive because you want it on your fastest drive. If it's not, it'll be on your D drive or any other drive you guys have installed. Then look for the FX server folder, go into TX data, CFX default, and then into resources. And then from here, you can put it into the maps folder if you want. I'm just going to put it outside of here just for the sake of the video so it's easier that you guys can see what I'm doing. Drag and drop it right here. And then you can close the download. We don't need that anymore. Copy our map folder name. Go back into CFX default. Open up your server.cfg. From here, all you guys are going to want to do is I'm going to add a new section of our server.cfg just underneath guns. So to do that, put two hashtags in order to ensure that your CFG knows that this is not a line of code, so it will not try and read it. And then put map. And then for that, we're just going to type in sure and then paste the name, which is map. And it won't conflict with anything whatsoever. There is nothing named map already in our server. And if you guys do already have a map mod, obviously make sure you guys delete that beforehand and then click save. You can now close that. And now all you guys got to do is simply start up your server by double clicking the default dot bat. Just like that, we can load a game and I'll show you guys how it works. Interrupting the video just quickly because I just wanted to let you guys know that I am opening up my own 5M server which runs off 5PD and it is basically like having LSPDFR but multiplayer and also every single mod that you guys want is in the game already so you can just hop on whenever you guys want, play with your friends and enjoy. Pretty much all the mods are paid for including these vehicles that you guys see behind me, they're all paid for and they are really really good resources and it's completely free to you guys so you can hop on here, enjoy yourself and join the Discord server down in the description below and get access to when the server comes out. Once you guys load in game, you should be able to see already that it has worked. If you see the map in the bottom left hand corner, it will now be colored and just look a lot better than the general GTA 5 map. Now, if you guys open up your map, you should be able to see that you now have the entire map postal coded and also colored. It just looks way better and it also makes it easier for you guys to tell your friends where you are by just going on the map telling them the postal code and then they can drive there by simply looking for it on the map and setting a waypoint there are going to be two more follow-up videos to this tutorial so make sure you guys do subscribe and stay tuned for that and turn those post notifications on so we're showing you guys how to set up a script where it shows you your nearest postal code in the bottom left hand corner of your screen just above your map and also a script where you guys can set a command to set a waypoint to a certain postal code on your guys' map. So be sure to look out for that. And other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers and goodbye.